The first stage of New in Town, New in Town Kingdoms, begins when you start a new world and collect your first oak log. You'll be given a town charter, and the New in Town advancement tree will become available. Use this to help give you an idea of what to work towards as you progress. To start your town, find an area you would like to settle. A flat area away from any hills is recommended, but not required. Use the town charter by clicking the text inside it, and the settler's wagon will appear for you, complete with two item hoppers and the town planner. The town planner can write up the settlement site recipes book, which details the recipes for adding new structures to your town by way of the site planner. These recipes are laid out like a 3x3 crafting table, with a key of requisite items. Stone and oak logs will be the most commonly used resources, along with building permits, of which three can be found in your wagon's chest to start you off. When you're ready to build a new town structure, open one of the site planners located at the edges of your wagon and place in the items as detailed in your recipe book. The building permit does not need to go in last, but is required for all new sites. As your town advances, invaders from the nether will emerge nearby, starting with Wither Skeleton Scouts, then Ghasts, and finally the Tyrant Wither himself. Let's take a look at what the structures in New in Town can do. Mines hire a miner with which to trade various stone types with. Lumber mills hire a lumberer, who can exchange different types of logs with you, as only oak logs will do for New Town structures. Every day at noon, any mines and lumber mills will generate stone and oak logs for you to use at your leisure. These resources will be transported to the hoppers at your settler's wagon. This action does stack for every mine and lumber mill in your settlement. The fishery will hire a fisherman with which to trade aquatic things with. Every day at noon, he will also restock the pond with cod for you. A homestead can provide a safer place for you to live and comes equipped with greater storage and smelting equipment. Farm plots come planted with a row each of wheat, potatoes, and carrots. It is an inexpensive structure useful for providing early food sources. The chicken coop uses a floor of hoppers to automatically collect eggs into the chest outside. The bakery hires a baker with which to trade various foods with. The mayor works in the mayor's office, and he will offer interesting deals on certain rare items. Guard towers weaken most mobs which would seek to harm your town, like zombies, spiders, and even creepers. You will have to fend them off yourself, though. The Adventure Guild hires an adventurer who can reward you for traveling to far-off places or otherwise help facilitate that travel. The Nether Shrine provides a more pleasant location for your nether portal and also acts as a convenient place to set up a beacon. The Potion Hut will hire a chemist with which to trade powerful potion ingredients. The Wizard Tower is a treacherous climb, but comes equipped with a fully stocked enchantment table and a wizard who can trade you for useful enchanting items. The Bard's College may seem like little more than an endgame flex, but when music plays from its topmost jukebox, you will be given a strength buff. You can arrange these structures however you like as your settlement progresses. Walls and gates can even be built to establish your borders. Three features will also generate outside of your town, bearing great rewards. By curing the zombie villager trapped in his cage, you will be able to commune with ghosts in the haunted mansion. After solving the puzzle of the sandstone sundial, you can control time by standing on the sun and moon inside the star dial. And within the end structure superimposed on a floating island, you can find the secrets to build an end vault. Building a castle starts with laying out the six castle frames, which will require castle permits obtained from the town planner. From there, five wings can be built in any combination or configuration. The entry opens up your castle to the rest of your town, or outside it. The stable serves as a nurturing home for your noblest steeds. 
The castle's tower performs the same duties as the guard tower. The bedroom serves comfort over function, but does contain some banner-making materials. The treasury collects taxes from every citizen of your kingdom, every day at noon, into the castle reserves.